Hello, my soccer universe. Let's recap the quarterfinals of the Europa League, the return legs. And yes, first things first, my throat is the ache is still has not gotten better, so uh, my voice is not quite there where it should be. Looks, sounds a little bit raspy. And yeah, sec, sec, second of all, what a sobering evening it was for this Milan fan hiding those suckers away here behind me. I decided to go Leverkusen, it's still Rosso Nero, but I really didn't feel like wearing a Milan jersey, hiding away uh, them here. Um, going from, I think, nine games unbeaten in all competitions to now be uh, winless in three with a big fourth one coming up. I think Pioli's time, that was not in his favor. And I was not in favor of changing Pioli, but I gotta say, this did not work out well. This did not work very, very, very well. Uh, I have to give huge credit to De Rossi and what he did with this, this Roma team. He deserved his new contract. And yes, we'll be spending a whole lot of time talking about that game. At least me getting over the disappointment. Because this went so fast. And even the little glimmer of hope that you had just went away. Just went away. Did not like that one. One bit. Not one bit, honestly. But hey, that's what you get sometimes in life. And so yeah, the Europa League, we still have two Italian teams in. And despite Roma having beaten Milan, I will be all behind Roma now. They are my favorite team left standing. Although I have to say these Leverkusen guys, are not a huge fan of Leverkusen, but they are a really, really exciting team and they have to be considered favorites. We also didn't see any miracles in Bergamo. Atalanta in the end saw it out easily also a little bit I mean uh, finishing letting uh, Liverpool down in in the end but over I think Atalanta fully deserved that one uh, West Ham had the chance maybe there to be an English team that moves on a second team after as the Aston Villa but in the end just Leverkusen flipped the switch in the second half and then saw it out easily as well and remain unbeaten so that streak continues and then uh, OM Finally broke down Benfica, but instead of pushing, they went all the way to penalties. But yeah, Benfica was not good at the penalties either. But let's start in Rome. Let's start, start, start in Rome. I mean, after the first leg, I really think that Milan should have gotten out with a draw. That, that one, Giroud needs to bury that chance. And we've talked about that in length in the uh, previous review video. Um, I still was hopeful. I think this Milan side is a better side than Roma. A very, very well coached Roma now. Uh, what the Rossi has done should not be underestimated. And it was actually perfectly laid out for Roma because Milan needed to come. What I did not understand was the lineup. I mean, uh, Chukwese was one of the few um, flag good points in uh, the last few weeks. I would have given Chukwese the start. Be a little bit more mobile up front. Really, uh, have Reinders, have Liao, have Chuk, Chuk Weze. Work it out somehow. Maybe even put Pulisic in it and try something different. No, it's the same old line, but you bring Musa in. I'm sorry, I actually like Musa. I think he has potential, but he was not the guy to start in this game. That's my personal opinion, honestly. Uh, and Roma just needed to have low block and hit them on the counter attack and that happened early on when uh, the ball comes via Mancini to Pellegrini, takes a shot, hits and he's great in shot taking, really. Uh, it hits the upright and on the bounce back Mancini is completely forgotten and this is typically Milan defense, uh, defensively Milan is, they cannot pick, pick up the players. And Mancini scores his second goal. Now he has three important uh, goals in the last four games. Uh, unbelievable this guy, unbelievable this guy. As much as he is probably not the most well liked character, this you, have, you gotta give to him. Uh, and then, yeah. I thought 1-0 down, you know, ever optimistic, just need to get one back, another one, it's overtime and you have the chance, you have to be able to break it down and then Loftus-Cheek has a shot that gets deflected onto the crossbar, that was the one chance, because just two minutes later, Lukaku again, another counter at Lukaku, uh, <laughs> plows through, uh, is not easily brought, brought, brought down, uh, the ball is then poorly cleared towards the feet. Uh, of uh, Dybala and who, who crossed in a brilliant shot. It's 2-0, 22 minutes. The game is done. At that point, I mean, everyone knew that the game is done. Yes, 
Milan got two lifelines around the half hour, hour mark. Uh, Lukaku had to come off with an in, in, in injury and he was really a thorn in the side. I mean, he worked his behind off, let's put it that way. And then Celic makes an absolutely unnecessary tackle throw from my ascent of, with a straight red uh, after bringing down Leao, which almost uh, resulted in a melee. Um, then another another um, substitution that I didn't understand. Why is Benazir coming on? Why is Jovic come, coming on? I mean, now you have two immobile strikers up front. I mean, all you need is speed, which you cannot have because Roma is a slow, is a low block. I guess I understand it now. You have two uh, lighthouses up front. Maybe they can break down uh, this Roma side. And again, I make it sound like Roma is so def defensive, but they did exactly what they needed to do. I totally understand. I'm not blaming this on Roma. I'm really not. I think here... I really think that Pioli dropped the ball uh, the way this game was set out to be. Uh, then Dybala come off. Because you need to bring on Llorente to kind of have the uh, the, the uh, right side of the defense uh, sure. But, yeah. I mean, whatever Pioli tried, then he brought on Chukwese, too late. He brought on Reinders, <laughs> who always plays. Why not this time, time around? They brought on Okafor, he brought on Florenzi. I mean, everything, everything about the kitchen thing thrown at Roma. But it was so predictable. They didn't even create chances. I mean, I had plenty of time to follow the other action. I, had, I, I was double screening. I had on the, uh, one screen where they switched between the games, where I was most listening and then uh, watching the Milan game. I actually... No, I, my attention went to the other stuff because there was nothing happening. Milan was nowhere there. Yes, Gabia pulls from back in the 85th minute after Leao Cross. Maybe the one thing that actually worked out, but honestly, oh. Bravo De Rossi, you deserve your new contract. You deserve, I mean, we don't know, I don't know uh, how long, but this Roma side, watch out. Watch out. I know they will play later because next they will come, we'll get to that game. Uh, uh, that might be a step too far, but they are the last team that have beaten Leverkusen. So there is uh, something still there. I just don't know. I just don't, don't know. But um, Roma deservedly beat Milan in this one. Uh, hurts to say, because that's the one competition that Milan still, your, your, your European competition, Milan has not won yet, that I really would like to win for a change. It's not happening. Serie A, not happening much either. You just will get uh, embarrassed probably on Monday. And yeah, another season that you would say was overall an okay season, but there was so much embarrassment in there that I don't think the Pioli will stay on. The question is who will come next? Seriously got it on that one. Seriously, seriously, seriously got it. But you gotta admit, Roma were better. And that's where I want to leave it. I don't want to down and <laughs> uh, depress uh, you further with that one. Uh, let's talk more happy stuff from it Italy with Atalanta. Taking on Liverpool. And for me, the narrative, it is was so ridiculous. The zero respect that Atalanta got ahead of this game. They freaking won 3 nil at Anfield. And what was the storyline? Ah, the last time Liverpool went there, they beat them 5 0. They will plow them away. This Liverpool still have, have, have a chance. On Austrian TV, they, uh, you know, it's not a representative poll. I mean, as a statistician, I, I know that. But of the users that replied, 54% thought that Liverpool can overturn this. Give me an effing break. Have you seen Liverpool play? I know Atalanta are uh, not a top team in Italy, but they could be if they have a little bit more consistency. They have been playing really well. And they also know they have two eggs left in the basket. That's the Coppa Italia, where they play Fiorentina. Similar story for Fiorentina, and they have the Europa League, where they have now a clear shot at least at the final. And the final is one game. And if Gasparini pulls off another one like he did against Liverpool, you never know. This could be a historic season for Atalanta, honestly. Yes, they've been in the semi-finals before when they won the cup. I think as a second, uh, I think they made it into semi-finals as even a uh, Serie B team winning the cup. Something weird like, like that in the late 80s. In any case, uh, so for me, if Liverpool will, will pull this off, this would be a miracle. Yes, Liverpool is talented, but don't underestimate Atalanta so much. Because it's a team that shot at Liverpool once, and that's exactly what they do. Yes. 
If the game would have gone Liverpool's way, at the beginning it looked like, like it. I mean, they got the early penalty that Salas lost lots of way. Ruggieri, handball, yeah, unfortunately. It is what it is. Then uh, Luis Diaz is one on one with Musso. Again, Musso, not Karneseki, but okay. Musso did well. He saved that, that one. I mean, if that's 2 0 after 12, 12 minutes, then maybe the comeback is on. But Atalanta knew exactly what was coming. And then Salah is one on one, he has the chance and he lobs Musso, uh, but so much misses the goal. I mean, if any of these two chances for Liverpool go in and it's 2 0 at the half, I might give Liverpool a chance. But whatever Atalanta did, they had man on man marking over the entire pitch very proactively. This was not a low block line like Roma, this was a very proactive marking, man marking, and they saw this out easily. They knew that they didn't even need to uh, attack that much. Because they had it in the bag and in the end, yeah, celebrations in Bergamo. Bravo Atalanta. It also means now Italy will get this fifth spot. It also means that Inkel Pro will not get this fifth spot. Very, very, very likely. It's unfathomable, honestly. But yeah, Atalanta move, move on. It's a big win for Serie A. This is an absolutely massive win for Serie, for Serie A. Liverpool, unfortunately, like Arsenal, trending in the wrong direction. And I think what everyone was kind of hoping of, of this, that City will stay in the competition, will have more games to play. No, it's not, because City is also out of the Champions League. Uh, then we had uh, the little meta of OM against uh, Benfica. Uh, I don't understand what Benfica would do. I mean, Roger Schmidt, you hire Roger Schmidt to have proactive Red Bull-like football. What did you get? You got an absolute defensive squad that OM could not break down, to, to be fair, and yes, Benfica maybe had around the 70th minute uh, through Rafa a uh, good chance. However, the pressure coming from OM was just piling on, piling on, piling on, piling, piling on, and finally in the 79th minute, an Aubameyang cross is headed in by Mubagna, and it's 1-0 OM. And the one thing I don't understand then is that OM did not press for them. guess they were tired. But they did not press further. The other thing that I don't quite understand is, is uh, every time Di Maria took a corner, the home crowd was hurling things at him. I guess still World Cup final, blah, 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 blah. But you know, uh, what will the result be? Probably you will play in front of an empty stadium in a semi final against Atalanta. Think, for once, think. Boo him all you like. Show him that you don't, don't throw objects. I mean, they really did their best to take themselves out of the competition, if you would like. It goes all, all the way to penalties, and actually Benfica had not so bad chances then in overtime, but it goes to penalties. Uh, Di Maria needed to be staying on because they really needed him to take a penalty, because otherwise he would have taken him off uh, already a long time. He steps up, puts his penalty against the post. Korea, Kokchu, Kondokbia, Otamendi, all convert. Balerdi, it is 3 to OM. Antonio Silva also sees his effort saved. And then Luis Enrique converts the fourth penalty. And Marseille through. And I have to say, at that point, I actually was then definitely more for OM because it really ticked, ticked me off how Benfica played this evening. And so OM take revenge, if you would like, for 1990, when they were um, controversially eliminated by Benfica in the European Cup. Otherwise, we would have had an, a Milan OM final earlier. This time around, I uh, must say, take revenge. Move on. As I said, they will play Atalanta. And Roma will take on Leverkusen. That was a rematch of last uh, season's Europa League semi-final. And before we get to that one, uh, this also means four European semi-finals for Roma in a row. Big statistic there. Uh, Leverkusen, you could definitely tell they were celebrating a German championship because in the first half, yes, they had the first chance maybe. But Antonio uh, gave West Ham an early lead and they had the chances there. Leverkusen was not there. However, Xavi Alonso, ever the cool dude, ever calm, makes just a change, takes off Taylor and Schick, brings on Frimpong and Boniface, and then the game was level again, and Leverkusen controlled it, and wouldn't you know it, they keep on their unbeaten streak, Frimpong had already a big miss uh, in the 82nd, then he gets the goal, actually really nice, how he's in the box, he was seemingly fainting that he wants to uh, play, and then just takes a step, put in, yes, it is deflected, 
But Leverkusen. Move on. Uh, there's not much more than I can tell you from this game, except that, um, again, the resourcefulness of this team that always finds late goals and by Xabi Alonso to seeing things are not working at the moment, but let's make these changes and they're working again. It's an absolutely amazing job that Xabi Alonso has been doing this uh, season so far. And with that, we have the semifinals. OM against Atalanta, Atalanta huge favorites and similar favorites are Leverkusen against Roma. That has, has, has to be said. Uh, I also think that people in Dublin will be a little bit a little bit relieved that you know Liverpool is not in there anymore. Yes, you have with OM and Roma two huge fan bases that will come to your city uh, that might actually that could be a little bit touchy. But if you see that Atalanta and Leverkusen are the fav favorites at, at the moment, those are much smaller fan, fan fan bases, so I think this will actually relieve uh, things a little bit. I think this will not, not be the high-risk final that we would have, let's say, if Liverpool can play against the Rangers or something like that. Uh, Leverkusen and Atalanta are the fav fav favorites overall, uh, but Leverkusen now really with a serious uh, amount there. And like the Conference League semifinal, they will play on the 2nd and the 9th of May with Roma and OM first enjoying home field advantage, which could m make a difference, I would think. And the final we played on the 22nd of May, have that in mind as well. As I said, it was a little bit of a sobering quad quarter final. I'm not sure if Milan would have gone on to win that entire darn thing, but yeah. The one thing that I think Milan fans need to stop now, and I think all the media, the European pedigree that Milan have, at the moment this squad has none. Yes, you had a semi-final run last season. You probably should have made it out of the Champions League group stage. But you need to rebuild this up. Roma on the other side. As I said, four semi-finals in a row. And that's not Champions League. This Europa League, this is their competition. And twice they reached the final. You know, there is pedi pedigree there. Roma know what to do there. They have European pe pedigree. Way more than Milan at, at, at the moment. Milan need to build, build this up. Will Pioli be the one that takes them forward? I don't know. I don't think so, if you were, 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 were to ask me. So yeah, this Milan fan has got it, but I'm still excited about the Europa League. I think we have a great semi-final ahead. Any case, let me know your thoughts on the Europa League. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!